If you promise someone cold ice cream, you better deliver. All right. So remember, we started off with some Welch's fruit juice concentrate. You can use regular fruit if you like. It's a little cheaper and a little faster. Then I'm going to put in some non-fat, non-dairy creamer. All right. We'll put in some non-fat dried milk. You can use whole milk, skim milk, soy milk, any of your milk choices. Remember, this is a fat-free ice cream. You can make sugar-free ice creams, lactose-free ice creams. No limit to the types of ice creams you want to make with it. The only types of ice creams you're going to have a hard time making are Neapolitans. Okay. I'm going to do Neapolitans too good. Now we'll throw in some ice. Now, remember, this is a fat-free ice cream. So just like with fat-free ice creams or sugar-free ice creams, okay, you don't want to ruin your ice cream. Make sure you're using fat-free or sugar-free ice. Okay. Now, what key do you think we're going to use to make ice cream? Probably the ice cream key, right? All right. Ice cream key is all the way over here on your left. Go ahead and push the ice cream key. Now, that ice cream key, that's going to start off on our lowest and slowest speed. That's where all the torque in the motor is. Uses that to crush up all the ice. Here in a second, it's going to speed up all by itself, and it creates a vortex. It pulls all the ingredients down into the blade. So again, you don't use spoons, spatulas, and plungers to assist it. It just does it. I'm going to get you some of this soup. But remember, this is like grandma's house, okay? Whoever doesn't try out their soup doesn't get dessert. Now, when you get that nice shiny star on the top like that, that's how you know you got good ice cream, right? If you want to shut your machine off early, you can push any key to shut it off early, all right? Now, you also have a manual control over here. You can push speed up, you'll get speed one. Push it again, you'll get speed two. Or you can hold it down, it'll automatically climb all the way to the high speed for you, okay? So you have that manual control if you like. Go ahead and push any key to shut it off early, and I'm going to do that because I can see we got cold ice cream. You can't do that in a regular blender, right? When you get that nice shiny star just like that. Now, the ice is the thickener in here, right? So if you turn this over and it all falls out on the floor, just scoop it back up and add ice. You're good to go. Okay. So you got cold ice cream. You can cook hot soups. You can make whole fruits and vegetable juices, margaritas and daiquiris. You can shred cheeses, grind coffees, and make salsas. You can even take peanuts and turn them into peanut butters. All right, so for all your nuts in the families, you know what to do with them. Now, obviously, we brought you a quality product, and you demand a quality price. I know I would. See, in order to replace this machine, you're going to spend $200 on a grain mill. We'll take all your grains, wheat, corn, rice, and we'll turn them into flour in 50 seconds. It's all done in the same blade, same jar. You don't have to have two separate jars for your wet goods, dry goods here. It's all done in the same blade, same jar. Then you'll spend another $200 on a juicer, but remember, juicer spit out all the fiber. Not to mention they're a pain to clean when you're done. Then you'll spend another $275 on KitchenAids and Cuisinarts with all their attachments, like an erector set to put them all together, right? See, they do bread dough in 15 to 20 minutes. We do a one pound loaf of bread dough in five minutes. You get all the ingredients and the instructions right here in your Lifestyles cookbook that comes with your blender. We'll stop there. You're already up to $700 in three machines, and you still can't make cold ice cream and cook hot soup. So you'll still need to get a coffee grinder, a food processor, and a professional cooker to try to replace one machine. You're well over $1,000 to try to replace it. 